Good morning boys and girls and welcome to another lesson of We Love Words. Our book this week is The Ugly Five which you will be listening to Miss Appleyard tell you tomorrow and you can listen out for all those words that we've learned this week and answer some questions all about the story. But for now we've got one more word to learn this week so let's see what it is. I'm going to read the sentence, point to the words with me and see if you can spot that new word. I much prefer food that's been dead for a while. I'm clearly a lot more revolting than you. I'll read it again. I much prefer food that's been dead for a while. I'm clearly a lot more revolting than you. And the word today is revolting. Okay, can you point to that word revolting? It's a bit of a funny word, isn't it? I don't think it's a word that we really use. Revolting. So it's definitely a word today that we will be learning the meaning of. So, let's have a look. Revolting. Let's say it to the ceiling. Revolting. Let's say it to the carpet. Revolting. Let's say it to our hand. Revolting. Let's whisper it. Revolting. Let's say it eight times. Do you think you can? Let's go then. Revolting. 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 Revolting, revolting, revolting. Super. Sounds a little bit funny when you keep going, saying it lots and lots of times. But the word is revolting, and you should be able to sound that word out. Revolting. Revolting. Right, so if something is revolting, you think it is horrible or disgusting. So the word revolting is another word for disgusting or horrible. So you can see that face there, that emoji, that looks like a bit of a sick face. Okay, if you feel like you're going to be sick. And that girl sticking her tongue out, she thinks, eh, it's revolting, it's horrible, it's disgusting. Okay, so instead of using the word horrible or disgusting, you can use the word revolting. So let's have a look at our anchor sentence. Oh, this isn't very nice, is it? So, the mouldy apple was revolting. That is our sentence today. The mouldy apple was revolting. Okay. And today, I've put the word apple in red. And that means that's the word we're going to change today. I think I've done it the wrong way around. Usually, I choose black, don't I? But today, the word apple is the word we're going to change, okay? And see if you can find, made it a bit tricky for you, a bit more challenging. Can you find that word revolting? It's not red today, is it? Revolting starts with a R. Can you find it? Revolt. Well done. It's that last word in that sentence, just next to that full stop. So we're going to change the word apple. So first, let's practice this sentence. The mouldy apple was revolting. Your turn. Super, my turn. The mouldy apple was revolting. Your turn. Super, let's see what else could be mouldy and revolting. Have a think, what else could it be? Ooh, what's that? Bread. Mm, I don't think it would be very tasty if we ate that bread. I think that bread needs to go in the bin. Let's change that word from apple to bread then. And let's read that sentence again. The mouldy bread was revolting. The mouldy bread was revolting. Can you say that? Super. The mouldy bread was revolting. So we've got a mouldy apple, some mouldy bread. What else could we have that's mouldy? Oh, we've got an orange. The mouldy orange was revolting. The mouldy orange was revolting. Can you say that? My turn. The mouldy orange was revolting. Your turn. Super, my turn. The mouldy orange was revolting. Your turn. Super, and the last thing that we've got. Oh, what is that? Super, it's corn on the cob, isn't it? So the mouldy corn was revolting. Can you say that? My turn. The mouldy corn was revolting. Your turn. My turn. The mouldy corn was revolting. Your turn. 
Fantastic. So we've got a mouldy apple, mouldy bread, a mouldy orange and some mouldy corn. Can you think of anything else that could go mouldy and change that sentence for yourself? Pause this video and have a little practice. So here's some other examples then. Here is a revolting bug. Can you point to that sentence? Here is a revolting bug. And it looks like a bit of a cockroach laid on its back. And then on the bottom, the worm soup looked revolting. Oh, I've made a mistake there, boys and girls. I've written there instead of the. Deary me. Just think, adults can make mistakes as well as children. Deary me. That should say the, not there. So I should take that R and that E off, okay? So you'll have to change that for me in your book if you want to write the sentence. The worm soup looked revolting. The worm soup looked revolting. Can you say that? Why do you think the worm soup looked revolting? Yeah, I think it looks revolting because revolting means disgusting and horrible. And I think that worm soup looks disgusting and horrible. I don't think I'd want to eat it, okay? So the worm soup looked revolting. Silly me, I put the word there. Right, back to the story then. I much prefer food that's been dead for a while. I'm clearly a lot more revolting than you. So this bird is a vulture and vultures eat anything and they eat things that are dead, okay? The scavengers. So they will eat things that have died. So there might be something in a farm or in a field that's died and it's been dead a long time and then the vultures will come down and they will eat on the dead animal okay so that is why they say and this this vulture in this story is saying i much prefer food that's been dead for a while i'm clearly a lot more revolting than you so it's clearly a lot more disgusting and horrible because we don't like to eat things that have been dead for a while do we but vultures like to eat things that have started to go a bit moldy they started to go a bit rotten okay so they say that that vulture says i must be a lot more revolting than you okay so that's in the context of the story one last example then the girl felt revolting when she was sick so she doesn't look very healthy does she she's got a very green face she looks, looks and feels very sick and the girl felt revolting when she was sick she felt horrible she felt really disgusting after she'd been sick okay right so what does revolting mean what did we say it means yep it means disgusting and horrible so which one shows revolting the maggots or the person with the present? The person with the present, do you think? No, because the person with the present's happy. She's not disgusting or horrible. She's not holding things, something disgusting and horrible. She's holding a present. She's very excited. She's very happy. But those maggots, those wiggly, wiggly maggots are a little bit disgusting. They're a little bit revolting, okay? So the picture there that is disgusting and revolting is the maggots. Can you point to the maggots? Super, well done. And our word today is revolting. If you want to, you can write that in your book. You can draw a picture of something that you think is disgusting, something that you find very revolting, and you can write that word next to it. Or you could even write a sentence telling me what your picture is. So if I was to draw a picture of these maggots, I could write, the maggots are revolting. So if you draw a picture of something that you find disgusting, you can write underneath whatever it is, is revolting, and you can write it in a full sentence for me. If you are going to write a sentence, don't forget, capital letters, finger spaces and full stops okay super boys and girls well done for joining in don't forget to watch the video tomorrow and listen to the story the ugly five okay take care and i will see you soon bye